Hello everyone, Ace here, and today I decided it would be a good idea to have a little change of pace with regards to Cyberpunk 2077. And by that I mean, instead of having a look at some of the hilariously awful articles about the game, let's instead see a piece of journalism that might actually be worth a read. Although full disclosure, I do actually know this particular individual and am on fairly good terms with them, so I do believe it is necessary to get that out of the way. But moving on, the particular article in question can be found on RT and is titled Cyberpunk 2077 Trashed Over Trans Issues. Activist Gamer Press Doesn't Want Good Games, It Wants Victimhood. Written by one Sophia Narwitz. And as you could probably tell from the title, Miss Narwitz does indeed go into detail on the years-long smear campaign faced by the devs of Cyberpunk 2077. At the hands of game journalists who probably could be better described at this point as propagandists, who fundamentally believe that everything is not only political but also propaganda, and as such should be made to cater to their particular beliefs specifically. Having said that, Miss Narwitz of course not only covers the incidents in detail, but she also provides her own personal opinions on why this is such a bad idea for games as well as for the people that these game journalists are supposedly trying to support. But I will have to say that my favorite line from the entire article is at the very end, where she says, and I quote, It is frankly time to kill the cancer, because the longer it festers, the more this medium will rot. And in all honesty, I cannot think of a more appropriate or accurate way to describe the current state of game journalism these days. As the sorts of people that will produce countless hit piece articles, as well as give a game a bad review, all because it does not completely adhere to their own personal political beliefs, are, in my honest opinion, nothing short of an absolute cancer to the industry. More so at this point than even loot boxes, I would say. And frankly, I cannot wait till the day that video games are once again seen as video games and not pieces of propaganda. In any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.